solving inequalities involving absolute values using the TI-89 calculator. We're going to solve an absolute value inequality greater than or equal to another number. First we're going to do it manually, then we'll plug it into a TI-89 calculator. First thing you want to do is isolate the inequality. So we'll take a minus 2 on both sides. That will give us 5 times the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 25. Now divide both sides by 5. These 5's cancel. And now we have the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 5 because 5 goes into 25 5 times. Okay, once we get to this point, we're going to solve for two equations. When you see the greater than sign, we're going to associate that with the word or. Okay, we're going to write out our two inequalities. First one, we're going to remove the absolute value symbol. And we get 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 5. Or, the second inequality, we're going to Remove the absolute value symbols and replace it with parentheses and a negative sign in front. So we have a negative sign, parentheses, 5x minus 10, close parentheses, is greater than or equal to 5. These are the two inequalities we're going to solve for now. First inequality, we're going to add a 10 to both sides. That's going to give us 5x is greater than or equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5. 5's cancel out, and that gives us x is greater than or equal to 3. The second inequality, we're going to distribute the uh, negative sign. That's going to give us negative 5x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 5. Subtract a 10 on both sides. That gives us a negative 5x is greater than or equal to a negative 5. Now divide both sides by a negative 5. When you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to change the direction of the inequality. So that's going to give us x is less than or equal to 1. So the answer to this problem is x is greater than or equal to 3 or x is less than or equal to 1. Now let's take a look how we do this on the TI-89 calculator. Okay, our original inequality was 2 plus 5 times the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 27. To enter this inequality into the calculator, first you're going to hit F2. Then this drop down box drops down. And you want to choose this first one here, Solve, by hitting the Enter key on the calculator. There it is. Now start typing in your equation 2 plus 5 times. There it is. Now we have to input the absolute value part. To input the absolute value part, we have to go to second math. So you want to hit this blue key that has the second on it, and then the math key, which is this number five key. So go second, math, then this drop down box appears. We want to choose number, which is this number one, just hit your enter key. Then this drop down box appears. We want to choose the number 2 here, APS, which stands for Absolute Value. To choose APS, you can either hit the number 2 on the calculator, or you can scroll down, highlight the APS, and then hit Enter. There it is. Now we want to enter in the rest of the Absolute Value part. So enter 5x minus 10, close the parentheses. Now we want to enter the greater than or equals. To do that, go to second, math, hit the number 5. This drop box drops down, and we want to go down here to number 8, test. Either hit the 8 on the calculator, or scroll down to highlight test and hit enter. I'm going to scroll down to number 8, test, and hit enter. Then this drop box pops up. This is where you're going to get all your inequality symbols. So for this case, we want 
greater than or equal, which is number three. So you either hit number three on your keyboard or highlight number three and hit enter on the calculator. I'm going to scroll down to the number three, greater than or equal, and hit enter. And there it is, greater than or equal. Now finish typing in the rest of the inequality. Greater than or equal 27. Now you're going to have to put a comma and an X and close parentheses. This lets the calculator know that we're going to be solving for X. Now just hit the enter button on the calculator to solve this inequality. And here it is. Here's our inequality. And here's our answer. X is less than or equal to 1 or X is greater than or equal to 3. Now what would happen if we make this 27 a negative 27 and solve for this inequality? We would have 2 plus 5 times the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to a negative 27. Let's solve this. We'll subtract 2 from both sides. That will give us 5 times the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to negative 29. Divide both sides by 5. These 5's cancel. So we have the absolute value of 5x minus 10 is greater than or equal to negative 29 fifths. Whatever value we put in here for x, we're always going to get something greater than this negative number because this absolute value is always going to return a positive number. So if you plug in a negative 27 in the calculator for this inequality and hit enter, you're going to get the answer true, which means that any number you put in for x is going to be greater than the negative 27. That's it. Uh, I did another video with I did a absolute value equation. I'll put a link to that video below. And I have another video where I do a absolute value inequality with a less than or equal. And I'll put a link to that video below also. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.